Hi there, welcome. I'm Laia. Today's class is designed to do in the morning to help you connect to your physical body, notice how you feel, and also connect to the energy within you. It is important to check in with ourselves every day in order to make better decisions, better choices that serve not only our goals and our intentions, but also invites us to nourish ourselves a little bit more every day. So I have two blocks because I like to practice with them, but you don't need them. All you need is a comfortable and stable surface like a yoga mat and your precious self. Bring yourself to child's pose. Bringing your big toes to touch, separate your knees and send your hips back toward your heels as little or as much as you want to. Maybe you take a moment here to move your hips side to side. And eventually perhaps you make a pile with your hands to rest your forehead down, or you could extend your arms forward. Your forehead could also rest on a block. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose or your mouth. Do more like that. Inhale, fill up your body. Exhale, surrender and soften. One more, deep breath in and out. Let yourself return to a natural rhythm of breath. Noticing how you arrive into your practice today. The sensations in your body. The way in which your mind is moving and how much attention you're paying to it. And your energy, how is it flowing? Take a deep breath in. Side out. Inhale, start to slowly lift your forehead up. Come to your fingertips, and on your exhalation, walk your hands just a little bit to the left, and surrender your forehead back down, noticing a little bit of a stretch through the right side body. Lift your forehead back up, inhale. Exhale, walk your hands through center, and then all the way over to the right, or a little bit to the right, depends on how far you wanna go. Breathe in, breathe out, let yourself relax back down. Inhale, lift your chest back up, walk your hands through center, and then start to bring your hands toward you. Draw your knees gently toward one another and remain seated on your heels if you'd like, or lift yourself away from the heels. Take your arms out and up as you breathe in, Make your gaze, maybe your gaze lifts as well. Exhale, bring your hands in front of your heart and bring your hips back down. This is a great place to grab a block if you wanted to and sit on the block instead. Take your arms out and up again, maybe you lift your hips again, breathe in. Breathe out, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a moment here to keep your palms together as you relax your shoulders down and notice the strength of your upper body. Inhale, keep your palms together as you stretch your arms forward. And on your exhalation, peel your right hand back as you take a gentle twist to the right. You could keep your arms extended or gently lower them down. Breathe in to lengthen. Breathe out to twist. Inhale, come back through center, reach your arms up, palms come together. Exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Extend your hands forward, breathe in. Breathe out, peel your left hand, take a twist to the left. Perhaps your arms ext remain extended. Perhaps they lower down as your right hand finds your left leg and your left hand could rest on your hip or on the floor. One more breath here. Inhale back through center, reach your arms up. This time interlace your hands. Draw your elbows toward one another. Again, feel free to stay seated on the heels or if you've been there for a while, maybe you lift yourself away. Take a moment to move your wrists in circles or circle eights. First one way and then the other. Take a deep breath in and out. Release your hands, maybe shake your wrists a little bit. If there's a block between your heels, this is a good time to move it out of the way. Begin to shift your weight forward as you bring yourself to a knee plank. So there's a diagonal line between your knees, your hips, and your shoulders. Draw your belly button in and up. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down to your abdomen. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, slowly lift your chest off the floor. Exhale to lower. Two more like that. Inhale, slowly lift. Engage your back body. 
Exhale, lower. One more, inhale. Exhale, this time press through your hands and take your hips back. Tuck your toes under this time and walk your hips as far back as you want to find sensation through the soles of the feet and start to awaken them. Some of us may want to keep the hands on the floor. Some of us may want to take the hands to the thighs, roll your shoulders back and breathe. Notice your capacity for being in this shape. And whenever it's time for you to come out, come out. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Shift your weight forward, hands to the earth, lift your toes, move your ankles one way as you breathe in, and the other as you breathe out. Bring your toes back to the ground or the tops of the feet, it's up to you. Inhale, shift forward. Maybe your hands have to move a little bit. Exhale, lower down to your abdomen. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, bring your hips back. Feel free to remain in tabletop or walk your hands forward. Finding a diagonal line now from your hands through your arms all the way up to your hips, which are stacked over your knees. If you wanted to awaken through the legs a little bit more, grip through your hands, tuck your toes, and keeping the length of the upper body, send your hips up and back, finding downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Become aware of the sensations in your physical body. One more, inhale. And exhale. If your knees are lifted, bring them back down. If your arms are forward, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Lift your tailbone, dip your belly, inhale, open up to the front body. Exhale, round your back, gaze down. One more like that, inhale to arc, into cow pose. Exhale to round, into cat. Bring your hands away from the floor so you remain on your knees. Inhale, take your arms out and up, palms unite overhead. Exhale, this time right away, take your left arm forward and your right arm back. Take a twist to the right. Go back through center, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, take a twist to the left, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, bring your hands back to the ground. Shift back into tabletop, or if you rather, bring your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Wherever you'd rather be, it's perfect. Don't overthink it. If you can avoid it, breathe in. Breathe out. Now, this is your choice from tabletop or downward facing dog. On your inhalation, start to send your right leg behind you. Feel free to float your toes if your left knee is on the floor, or keep them down. Breathe in. Breathe out, draw your right knee toward your chest. Feel the core engage. Again, reach your right leg back, breathe in. Breathe out, right knee to your chest. Shift your weight a little bit more forward toward the wrist. Grip through your fingertips. Now from here, this time, start to bring your right foot between your hands. Maybe it gets there on its own. Maybe you grab your ankle with your hand and with a few little hops, you get your foot there. You could keep your fingertips on the ground. If you have your blocks, maybe you bring your hands to the blocks at whatever height you'd like. You could also bring your hands to your right thigh. But wherever you are, draw your right hip gently back and your left hip gently forward. Relax your shoulders, lift your chest, then breathe. Stay here, or as you inhale, take your arms up. And as you exhale, again, left arm forward, right arm back. Take a gentle twist. Maybe your hands remain extended, or maybe they lower down. Left hand to the right knee. Right hand may find the left leg, depends on the length of your arms, really. Stay here, or as you inhale, take your left arm straight up. And as you exhale, stay or lean back just a bit. If you get wobbly, press down through the ball of your right foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Gaze forward, take both arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring both hands to the earth. Frame your right foot. Take your right leg back to meet your left. Shift forward into a knee plank or maybe lift your knees for a plank. Breathe in. Breathe out, lower down, knees, chest and chin to the floor. Slide your body down, hands underneath your shoulders, point your toes back. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, bring your hips back, find your tabletop or your downward dog. Again, it's absolutely your choice. What do you need? What bring, will bring more stability, more presence? more of wherever it is that you're trying to create for your day. Inhale, and exhale. 
Send your left leg up and back, whether you're in tabletop or downward dog. Breathe in. Breathe out, left knee toward your chest. Shift your weight a little bit forward as you engage your core. Again, inhale, take your left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee to your chest. Shift forward, float here for a moment. Now plant your left foot between your hands, maybe on its own, or giving it as little or as much help as you need with your left hand. Lower your right knee to the floor if it's lifted. Take a moment to find the stability that you're seeking and stay here. Or perhaps on your next inhalation, you start to take your arms out and up. And as you exhale, take your right arm forward and your left arm back, find a twist here. Continue to draw your left hip back and your right hip forward. Maybe your hands surrender a little bit down. Maybe on your next inhalation, you send your right arm up. And on your exhalation, you lean back just a bit. Inhale, take your gaze forward, both arms up. Exhale, frame your left leg. This time, lift your right knee off the floor. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, maybe you take several steps until you're forward, or maybe you take one big step forward. Feet parallel to one another, hands to the blocks or the floor or your shins. Inhale, flat back. And on your exhalation, bend your knees a lot until you can fold over your thighs and relax your head down. Take a moment to move your head gently, yes. Consider what yes feels like in your body, in your nervous system, in your energy. And then move your head, no. Observe the energy of no as well. So that as you move through your day, perhaps you remember. Breathe in. Breathe out. Press down through your feet. Inhale, slowly rise. Take your arms out to the sides and all the way up. Your hips may press slightly forward. Unite your palms overhead. And as you exhale, draw your hands in front of your heart and all the way down next to your body. Maybe you take a moment to move back and forth. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold again. Take your hands to your blocks or the floor. Relax your head down. Inhale, flat back. Frame your right foot with your blocks or your hands. Take your left foot back. You can choose to lower your left knee back down as we did before or keep it off the floor if you want to build more strength through the legs. And you can change your mind at any point. Stay here or inhale to rise. Take your arms up. Exhale to twist to the right. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, stay or lean back a little. Continue to bend into the front knee. Inhale, take both arms up. Exhale, this time bring your hands in front of your heart or to your hips. Really ground into your right foot. If you're wobbly, it could be fun. Exhale, take a big step forward. Your left toes may touch the floor or float. Breathe in. Breathe out, lower your foot. Shake out your legs. Roll your shoulders, inhale, and exhale. Take your arms up as you breathe in. Fold forward as you breathe out. Let your head relax, let your knees bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step your right foot back. Frame your left foot with your hands or your blocks to become stable. Let yourself be here until you notice how you feel. Make the choices that you want to make and eventually rise up as you breathe in. Take your arms out and up. Exhale, take the twist to the left. Right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Stay here as you inhale. Maybe take it all back as you exhale. Inhale, arms reach forward. Gaze goes forward. Bring your hands to your hips for more stability or in front of your heart for a little more play. And then maybe you take several steps forward and your toes stay on the floor, they float. Maybe you take one big step forward and if you fall out of it, it's okay. The floor is not lava, at least not here. Breathe in. Breathe out, lower your foot, shake it out. Take a moment to roll your wrists, roll your ankles, shake out your body. And then bring yourself to a seat. <sighs> take a moment to notice how you feel. Roll your shoulders. Move your neck around. And then settle your hands onto your lap or your knees. And allow your gaze to lower down, or maybe you close your eyes. Notice your heartbeat. 
the energy flowing through you. Perhaps the driplets of sweat on your skin. Take a deep, deep breath in, deepest breath you've taken all day. In through the nose. Let it expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Open your mouth and side out. <sighs> just recognize what it feels like to be alive right here, right now, just as you are. With all your light, with all your shadows. And repeat within or without. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. If it resonates with you, bring your palms together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra, taking a moment of connection of yourself to yourself, of yourself to the universe, reminding yourself to truly live today. Breathe in and breathe out. Release your hands, open your eyes. I hope that you've enjoyed this morning practice and that you feel energized and awake and ready to make the choices that truly support who you are. Until I see you again, take care and be well.